Once upon a time, there was a patch of infinite possibilities and there was a wizard. The wizard looked at the patch of infinite possibilities and said, I am the mightiest wizard in the world. You are lucky to have found me. Then he took the patch into his hands and began to fold it. Hmm. I'm going to make you into something big and magnificent. I'm going to make you into the most super awesome, fantastically fabulous elephant the world has ever seen. And he folded and he twisted and he said, here you go. Ooh, ta -da! What's this? Stop fooling around. We need to get serious. Come on now. I'm doing this for your own good. Trust me. You will thank me once you become the most super awesome, fantastically fabulous elephant the world has ever seen. Come on. What? A rabbit? You're going to hop around all day. The wizard then once again took the patch of infinite possibilities and twisted it and knotted it, stretched it and pulled it. I am the mightiest wizard in the world. My magic cannot go wrong. I have taken a million patches just like you and made them into something worthwhile. Ha! Watch and see what I make of you. What? A bird? When you have the chance to be the most super awesome, fantastically fabulous elephant the world has ever seen, you choose to be a bird. Something must be wrong with you. Maybe you're not the right shade of golden. Or, or maybe you're just too stiff. Such a waste of potential. The wizard spent many years trying to shape this patch of infinite possibilities into the most super awesome, fantastically fabulous elephant the world has ever seen. The patch tried to help the wizard. It worked on its goldenness, tried to become softer, bigger, stronger, more magnificent, but an elephant it never became. If only I could be an elephant, it mourned. Then maybe, just maybe, the wizard would love me. He would not get angry with me. He would not leave me. I am so useless. I am good for nothing. Who failed you? This piece of infinite possibilities or the wizard's inability to look beyond his own expectations. This patch, this patch here, this is me as I was growing up. This is my classmate, my neighbor, my daughter, my son. This is you. Or maybe this was you. Full of possibilities, infinite possibilities. And then that wizard came along. The wizard. Who is the wizard? The external validation. Education system, patriarchy, <coughs> caste, religion, politicians, advertising. They all who insist that my choices, actions and achievements be validated by them. Choose this, buy this, do this, achieve this. And you will be showered with love and acceptance. If you don't, you are a failure, loser. This is me, afraid to dance in the rains. What if I'm not good? People will laugh. I can't afford to fail in public. Let's be honest. We are all here today not to celebrate failure, but to hear success stories. How people overcome failure, like it is something to be gotten away from as quickly as possible. Failure? Nakore. Can we save our children from this fear of failure? Can they be free of this yoke of external validation? Can we create a future where children try out everything without worrying of what they will think of them if they fail or succeed? Can they be self-validating? Welcome to our sanctuary of childhood. A space where failure and success are both part of learning and growing. Where a mess is welcome, chaos is not frowned upon. Children can be children and adults can be children too. Where my wife and me are the self-appointed guardians of childhood. Here the wizards are put away. Infinite possibilities are explored. Children choose what they want to do or not do. No structured activities or sessions. Just musical instruments, art and craft material, some sports equipment, a lot of space, and other children. 
Here everybody is a learner. No shame, fear or guilt in making mistakes. No threats or punishments here. Just four things to remember. Take care of yourself. Watch out for others. Take care of your surroundings. And put things back in their place when you're done with them. And the children are the ones reminding each other. We do nothing. Just give them the space to bloom. We trust them to figure out things for themselves as they play, fight, negotiate and move ahead. This is the kind of space that gives them the confidence in their own choices, where they exercise their muscle of self-agency. We have created this kind of space as a summer program in Moira. We've done this as a one-day festival in Aldona. We open up our home every alternate Friday in Aldona, inviting children and adults to come together and make things without judgment or agenda. Only agendas to make a mess and chaos reigns happy. We hope to make this a regular thing. Ah, the elephant with a dedicated space. The most super awesome, fantastically fabulous space the world has ever seen. Or whatever it wants to turn out to be. If you see yourself as part of this, welcome to our sanctuary. We can explore possibilities together. As they say, the sky is the limit. We know for sure our children can rise above external validation and fear of failure. Imagine them as adults. Nobody will be able to manipulate them into doing things using shame, fear or guilt. They will be able to try out different things and it wouldn't matter if they failed or succeeded. All that would matter is that they tried. Worth a shot. Yeah. Thank you.